Hey everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to another Bama Saltwater Fishing video. I appreciate you for joining me on the channel. I'm actually doing something that we have never done before on the channel. I used to do this before I joined the Army. I used to come out here on the old one. But this is the Fort Morgan Pier. It is finally open. It's redone. It's not that old janky wood where you felt like falling off. And now since I have a GoPro and a channel, it's finally open so we can get out there and go fish. So I am with Mom and let's get to fishing. So here we go, this is it. It's brand new, today's the opening day. This has been a welcome sight forever. But nice little water spigot, nice ramp, handicap accessible parking, which is awesome. So pretty much anybody can come out here and fish. Yeah, wonder how long till the pelicans cover everything up. <laughs> but here we go. Yeah. I understand why because when I'm launched I fish from a boat and a kayak and pier so when you launch a boat and you got a whole bunch of lines out there by the ramp it makes it hard but I don't see why you couldn't drop straight down <laughs> so here it is this thing's actually pretty big the old one used to be real real old wood like creosote wood it had been here I don't know how many years and it was rickety it didn't have railing the fishing was great but now we're on here I know I said I was going to shut up and get to fishing, but I just want to show you all this pier since uh, this is going to be the first time it's been on my channel. But what a really nice facility they did. It protects a little wharf right here for the boat ramp so when you're launching you don't have those rough waves hitting. And it serves as a fishing pier. There's a big mullet. See him? But I am going to be throwing this Voodoo Shrimp. This is a three and quarter inch root beer colored shrimp with some 20 pound fluorocarbon leader on my squall and star combo. I'm just gonna toss right along. Let this voodoo shrimp go down to the bottom. Bounce it, reel in the slack, hop it back to me. Hey, there's a mangrove or a mullet down there. See him? I think I see a flounder though. Yeah, I do. I see a flounder right there. Is he gonna eat it? I don't know if that is or what it is. Pretty sure that's a flounder. I don't know. It looks just like one. This is the clearest I've seen Mobile Bay in a while. It's crazy. It's weird, this water this clear. I don't think these fish know what to do. Mobile Bay fish are used to <laughs> dirty water. Ah. Just cast up onto that rebar. Yeah, I just cast onto that rebar. Where'd you go? Ah, get my shirt back. Oh, I went right in the one gap that you can go in. <laughs> yeah, it did. Will I be the first one snagged on here? Yeah, he ain't gonna come out. It felt, look at that, it fell in the tiniest gap. Look at that. Right through that little gap. <laughs> in between the posts? Uh, yeah. The time. I tried, but it's it's wedged up in there now. So, eh, I lost my first first one to the pier. <laughs> you got to do that, right? <laughs> got one. Oh, that's a nice mangrove. Got a mangrove. He ain't a keeper though. Yeah, pretty fish on the voodoo. Check that out. I was just jigging that voodoo shrimp around the end of the piling. All right, the old voodoo shrimp putting in work again. I was just jigging it along that piling and tricked this mangrove into biting. He's not a keeper, so we got to let him go. But this is my first fish off the new Fort Morgan Pier. There you go, buddy. He gone. Shot back under the pier. Sweet. Wasn't a keeper, but still a fish, especially uh, fishing a new structure. I fished on the old, old wooden pier that was here, but that thing's been closed down forever. So since before I joined the army, it closed down because it was pretty rackety. 
So it's nice to be able to come out here and actually catch fish and on artificial. But those have to be 12 inches in Alabama total length. So he was not a keeper. Okay, so let's try that again. So shrimp's still good. My leader's still good. I'm gonna drop it right below these wooden pilings. Those mangrove snapper around anywhere there's structure. When the water's not freezing, they're gonna be hanging around. And I'm just letting it sink to the bottom. Give it a sharp twitch, let it sink to the bottom again. And they'll come out and grab it out of reaction. Oh, there's one. Gotcha. Yes. There's a, yeah, that's a nice flounder too. Yeah. I hope he's hooked good. Because he's come. Boom. Got a flounder. Let's see if he's a keeper. Yes. All right. What a pretty flounder there. So they only have to be 14 inches. So I need to measure this one and see. And if not, he's got to go back. But what a really nice fish on the voodoo shrimp. You know I love using it. Nope, 13 inches. All right, that's a 13 inch fish, so it gets to go back. Here we go. Pretty little joker. Boom, and he gone. I hate throwing them down like that, but uh, they'll be okay. <laughs> but once again, three and a quarter inch size voodoo. Let's see if we can get something else. So, mangrove, undersize, and then a pretty little flounder. And I brought my cast net. There's a lot of mullet over here, which I love eating too, but I'm really trying to get some, really trying to catch some more fish. I know in a week or so, the flounder will be stacked up over here. They haven't quite moved all the way out here just yet, but they are here. Yeah, I felt them bite. I knew exactly what it was. It's so awkward fishing a left-handed bait caster for me, but it's because of my hand. Bait's been blowing up out there, little bitty glass minnows. Yeah, I see that here. Oh, mullet are running into my line. Look at all of them. Oh, what the heck? Hey, that's not a mullet. What is that? Ladyfish. Come on, eat it. He got it. Oh. <laughs> Come on, are you going to get it, you dummy? You see them fired up on it? That must be what's chasing that bait. It's cool. I wouldn't be surprised if a uh, Spanish wasn't hanging around either. They came out of that school of mullet. I was like, the mullet just turned on my shrimp, and that's not, that doesn't happen. <laughs> oh, there's one. Look at that. Got it. Yes. <laughs> Another flounder. Yep. Oh, he came off right there. It's so awkward for me. <laughs> but I have a bad wrist, so I have to use these left handers because it's a lot easier for me to palm it with my right hand than it is to palm it with my left. And so it gets real awkward to set the hook. But that was a nice flounder right there. And uh, he'll still be there. You just gotta throw back right to the same spot. They'll eat it. But that's why you see me be all awkward if I'm setting the hook a different way, because it's just adjusting to a left-hander. Had an armored hatch fall on my hand, so. Okay, let's see if he's still sitting there. Majority of the time, if you miss one, you can cast right back out and they'll just go sit down on the bottom and stay there. You know, trying to get them to bite is always a challenge, trying to get them to bite again. But at least you know it's still there. Oh, what is that? Ladyfish. <laughs> Ladyfish. Uh, that's how I like to catch them. <laughs> Let them get off on their own. Oh, there's a nice. Oh, what are you? What are you? Let's see. Is that a ladyfish? Yep. Skipjack or ladyfish. That's a nice bait size one right there. There you go. That that would make good cut bait. But we're going to let this joker go. They don't have teeth. They just have a very sandpaper tight mouth. And they bleed and crap everywhere. But that was an easy release. And I've been using this little voodoo right here forever. And the tail finally fell off. I think I've caught over probably 40 fish on it. Which is pretty good. So I'm going to grab another one. All right. So mangrove, 
flounder and the ladyfish. That's the fun part about saltwater fishing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Another skipjack. Those are annoying. <laughs> oh, man. Felt them thump. Leader's still good. You always want to check your leader after catching those. Because, like I said, they don't have teeth, but they have a pretty sandpapery mouth. Oh, oh, did it come off? Oh, do you see it? You got to set that hook. It's okay. important. It's essential to set it. Wow, so, do you see that? Yeah, you had you one. That hard. Cast it back out there. Okay. So I'm sitting here watching mom. I didn't have the camera going. That's, you know what's funny is as soon as I turned the camera on, oh, it came off. Right on. No, it came off. Oh. That's, <laughs> that's so typical. That. That's what happens a lot of times. What is that? Lady, ladyfish or mullet? But mom had a flounder on. You just got to... Yeah. I don't you, know how to set that. You did a half heartedly hook set. You well, gotta put your whole heart into it. <laughs> yeah. With these with these lures, you gotta set that hook. Otherwise they're gonna come off like mine did. Well, if it's gonna come off anyway, he'll, I'm he'll come back sure. again. I'll sure. see if I can catch him. I hope you can. Trying to give you chances. Right. <laughs> but that is ironic. Every it, it's a pure coincidence, but every time I turn the camera on, on something, sometimes it, <laughs> like if it's like a rare phenomenon, like a dolphin swimming right up here and waving <laughs> yeah, they uh it, the camera will either die overheat or just not capture it and that's what happened as soon as i turned the camera on your line went slack and you lost that fish yeah. so we'll make a few more cast i've missed a couple fish but i know in a week or two these fish will be here stacked up and then november the season closes so you can't keep them but there are redfish and other species you can catch out here in the month of November. Alrighty y'all, so caught those fish. That was pretty fun, but it is time for me to go. I was kind of slow, but you know, fishing's only going to get better. The longer the structure is here and then more barnacles and stuff is going to grow on the sides of these bulkheads and make this pier a great fishing area. So it's very accessible, which is one of my favorite parts. And I just want to show you, I'm going to walk to the end, but on this side of the wharf they have no fishing signs and i understand why because i fish from a boat and i fish from the land and i can understand both perspectives because if you have a bunch of lines out here and the boat ramp's busy they can get in the way so but there's plenty of square footage along the side to catch fish so i'm just going to walk to the end real quick just to show you but a lot of surface area out here a lot of room and for great accessibility this whole pier is yeah this lowered rail height so you can still fish but here's the end there's your gas rigs out there a lot of nice fish down here somebody's got a shark on oh that's a good one too hard to tell the link he's good size oh yeah that's a nice black tip yeah that would be that would be a keeper that's a good one oh my gosh i've never seen a shark that big so that was kind of cool they have a nice black tip shark over there the bay's full of them, if you didn't know. You don't have to be out on the beach to catch shark. You come out here, out in the bay, you can catch some nice ones. But here's the end of the pier. Just to show you, there's the Jetty Rocks. I fish a lot, Fort Morgan boat ramp. That's where the ferry goes. Pretty neat little area. That's a nice legal black tip shark. So there you go. Still got a, a lot of energy left in it. So that was actually really cool seeing that. You never know what you're gonna see out here. I don't know if a lot of y'all realize, um, some of you probably do, but you know, the bay is actually full of sharks. So they're not just out in the Gulf. There's a saying that if you're around a water source and you dip your hand down there and taste it and it's salty, there's a possibility there's a shark in there. So <laughs> if it's salt water, there's gonna be one. <laughs> but, but I'm probably gonna end up going fishing somewhere else. Had a pretty good day. You know, I can't complain that I caught fish on a really beautiful fall day. Hey y'all, I am back home. That was a very fun day out on that new Fort Morgan Pier. So it gives us another opportunity to go and fish in a very, very great area. There's not too many accessible spots in the bay, so it's nice to be able to get out there. But I appreciate y'all for watching. All the companies I work with and our pro staff with, I'll include down in the description below. Also, don't forget, I still have some limited edition Bama Saltwater hats on the website, bamasaltwater.com. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, smash that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next Bama Saltwater fishing video. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. We'll see you later.